Hello Power Users, Bignio Fukowski here and today we will be looking how to create an AppSearch functionality in Power Apps. Uh, AppSearch functionality, if you don't know, is a functionality where if a record exists in your data source, you are uh, updating this record and if it's, it doesn't, you are creating a new record based on the crit criteria, for example, any kind of ID. So we will look how to do it in, in the canvas in Power Apps. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so in order to create an absurd function, I've already created the text input in which we will be inputting our fruits and the color which we will be setting up as well. So this is the text input. Let's go and create real quick the drop down and the drop down items let's go with red green blue yellow no let's do it this is fine Okay, so we, if we want, we can create new, new fruit, let's say, and give it a color. And based on this information, our fruit should be in, in this gallery. So this is the thing we want to do. I've already created by the clear, with the clear collect the collection fruits with some example fruits. Let's see how it works. It's, uh, this is the, our basic collection. So now on the button press, first of all, I want to, to do the, the, just the patch. So let's go with the patch. Let's patch our collection fruits. And there we want to choose the text input, which is here. The text input is called takes the fruits and the drop down will be drop down fruits. Okay, so patch functionality can do three things basically. First, we'll be creating a new object, and in order to create a new object, we want to go with the defaults and choose our source. This means that the, the new newly created object will have the same schema as other objects in that collection. So, so for now it will be the name and the color, both in the, in the text, as you can see. And we want to create our object with name equal to text uh, fruits dot text and the color with drop down fruits dot selected text and that's all let's close the parentheses uh, what's the problem the color does not match expected text we have to use value i always forgot and let's see what happens now. So we have, I want to create a new blue fruit and this will be blueberry. Why not? Pick blueberry, we have new blueberry. If I create another one, we have another blueberry because we are, we don't have distinct values. We can have two objects called blueberry. So now, we want to avoid this situation and for this the absurd will will be handy so if the blueberry is already existing in our collection we don't want to create another blueberry we want to update the existing blueberry so instead of the defaults now we can use the lookup function we want to look up our collection, our collection fruits, and we want to look up by name, which should be equal to takes the 
roots dot text. So if this record is is there, we want to what we want to create an update to this collection. The name will be equal to the takes the fruits text and the color will be equal to to the color we choose. Okay, but we already have this this collection and to read the results. So let's see what happens there. Let's run the code again. First let's reset our collection and then let's go with Blueberry. Nothing happens. Nothing happens because new object cannot be added. Why? Our patch function now is not uh, creating a new object with defaults function. It's just it's just searching for for the object for the record which exists in this collection. And if it doesn't find this record, it cannot patch it because it wants to patch this specific record. So now we want to check if this record exists. And if it ex exists, then update our record. And if it doesn't, then just simply create new record. So if this condition is true, that this lookup function will be true. As you know that uh, in the if func function we need to have the boolean value so we cannot do the simple lookup. We have to also check if it's not empty. So if this is not empty then go with the lookup. And if it's empty, then create create new collection record. Okay, everything works. Let's format our text. This is our formatted function. This is our if. So if this exists, then go with our specific record that update with the patch what we have here and if it doesn't create new record so first of all what it should be doing it should be creating a blueberry blueberry yeah it does but what happens now now it shouldn't create another blueberry because we already have our blueberry see nothing happens but what happens if we want to change the color because on duty button the color should be changed to green because we are setting the value to the drop down green then this color should be updating and it does okay so let's do this again create green blueberry but as we know blueberries are blue <laughs> let's update this and this is basically all we created successfully an absurd solution in our power up you can you can copy this solution to your applications simple if would uh, be sufficient to either pipe the record or create a new record and then update the values which are there this is how we do a upstairs in power apps so speaking of Fukowski out if you like the content you can subscribe like etc etc you know the real <laughs> But I know that most of you are, are aren't even in this second of the of the video because you are too impatient and you already found the solution. But it's cool, it's cool. For those are you who are there, thank you. Zbigniew Pukowski out. See you in another video.